Welcome to the Nursing 501 tutorial. Today we will cover how to find nursing theory required videos, library books, and peer-reviewed journal articles, how to set up your My EBSCO account, and interlibrary loan. First we will go to the library homepage and search the online catalog. Here you will type in either a keyword or a title you are looking for. Let's start with those nursing videos and search. Next you will want to click on view digital resource. From off campus you'll be prompted for your Riviere ID number located on your ID card. If you do not have an ID card you can also log in to MyRiv and your ID number is there as well or you can call the library and we can get you the information. To watch your video, just click on view, depending on which theorist video you are supposed to watch. Let's go back to the library catalog really quick and look for books. Enter the topic you are researching and then click search. You see both print and ebooks. You will need the call number to find the print books in the library. For ebooks, simply click on View Digital Resource, and like before, you enter your ID number and you will gain access. Let's go back to the main library page to search for articles. Click on Research Databases slash Journals. You're automatically brought to a menu that is by subject. At the top, you will see the subject Nursing and Medicine. Click on that and it will drop you down to the databases that are nursing specific. For today, we are going to focus on the EBSCO databases, so let's click into Medline for this example. Again, if using databases from off campus, you will be prompted for your Riviere ID number. Now, before we go any further, let's create a My EBSCO account. This account will allow you to save your articles and your searches so you can return to them later if you only have a small amount of time to do your research or if you cannot necessarily print your articles right then. To set up your account, you will click on the sign in button at the top of the page. If you already have an account, you would just enter your username and password. Please note that the username and password is not the same as your email account. If you do not have an My EBSCO account already, create a new one by clicking on Create a New Account. And fill in all of your information. Click Save Changes and you should be automatically logged in. Now every time you go into an EBSCO database, the first thing you should do is sign into your account. You know you are signed in when the EBSCO icon becomes the My EBSCO icon. Now we can expand the databases we are searching by clicking on Choose Databases above the search bar. Let's check off the nursing related databases. If you're unsure if it's a nursing database, the small post-it icon will give you a brief description if you hover your mouse over it. So let's check off. Alt Health Watch, CINAHL, Health Source, and since Medline is already clicked off, we do not have to worry about that, and click on OK. Now we are searching multiple databases at once, saving you lots of time. Type in your search terms. Be sure you are using keywords and not full sentences. Use the word AND to connect two terms. Using the asterisk will tell the database you want all terms that begin with what you've typed. So, theory, theorize, theorists, and so on. Another example would be NURS asterisk, which will bring back nurse, nurses, nursing, nursed, etc. The quotations around the phrases are telling the database that you want these terms in that exact order. So self-care deficient and nurse fear. Let's click on search. For this class purpose, you want to make sure you click off peer reviewed. Meaning you only want articles that went through a peer reviewed process. 
For other classes or assignments, you may need to focus just on the last five years, changing the dates you see here. But for this class, you will need historical materials as well, so we can leave this alone. You can further limit your results by using the subjects area. On to the results. You will want to read the abstract of an article before deciding whether or not you want to read the whole article or even request it through interlibrary loan. Remember, primary research and empirical studies involve the collection of data for original research. The research has not been analyzed by other parties, while secondary research analyzes, interprets, or summarizes primary research. So, once you decide you want to use an article and it says HTML or PDF, you can click on the folder to the right and it will be saved to your My EBSCO account. Or, of course, you can just click on PDF full text and it will bring the article up for you. Note, if you had not signed in before, it would only be saved to a temporary folder, so it's important that you are actually signed in first. If it says check for full text availability, you would click on that link and it will tell you if it's available in another database. We have this one. You would click on this link and it should bring you to, into the other database and directly to the article. If you see full text through link source, that works the same way and you will be brought right to the article. Finally, if you cannot get something full text and it only says request through interlibrary loan, you can still get the article, but it will take one to seven business days. So do your research early so you are not limited. Make sure that before you request an article that the article's language is English. Sometimes, even if the article's abstract and title are in English, the journal is not. Of course, if you can read another language, feel free to request it. So, let's click Request through Interlibrary Loan, and it will open a new tab. Enter your Riviere username and password. If you have never used RIV ILL before, you will be asked to enter in your personal information. Otherwise, the article information will be automatically entered into the form, and you would just hit Submit Request. You will receive an email when it arrives telling you to log into your RIV ILL account, which can be found on the library homepage in the yellow box seen here. Please note, we are happy to help you with any of your research. If you get stuck and need help, you can call us, stop by, text us, or use the chat box located throughout the library pages. I just recommend you click on the green arrow to pop out the chat box in case you click off the page. Good luck with your research, and we hope to see you soon.